excited for this video because I've been wanting to do this for a really long time. I've wanted to try dollar store makeup like I always see it and I want to see if it's really good. I'm going to try to do an entire face of makeup from the dollar store and we'll see how this goes. So this is everything I got. I got a beauty blender, bronzer from the dollar store, blush thing. It looks kind of cute. Mascara, I even got face mist from the dollar store, so I think I'm gonna do that one first. Then I got this foundation, but they didn't have any options there, so this looks really dark. I'm just gonna mix it with like a, a pale foundation that I already have, so we can see if it works. I'm like really excited for this video because I've been wanting to do it for so long, and I finally got this stuff. So I really wanna try it out and see if it's good. And I'll let you guys know you can save money by going to the dollar store if this makeup actually works. The first thing I'm gonna do is try this face mist. It looks like this. I'm just gonna show you guys in case this actually works. You guys can go and get it at the dollar store. But this color is medium one. So I wouldn't even say I'm medium, I'm kind of pale. Okay, let's just see how it works. Oh, that was a lot. Oh my gosh, this is literally like so thick. Do you guys see this? It's like whipped, kind of. I definitely put way too much on. Honestly, this is pretty good because I was expecting it to be like really runny, but it's not. It's like pretty thick. So now that I spread the foundation on my face, I think it is too dark. I'm going to try to mix it with this right here. This is the beauty blender that I got and it's by the same brand. This is actually pretty... Yeah, this is actually like flexible. Okay, so I just got it wet and it grew so big. Like this is the biggest... Beauty blender I've ever seen. Okay, so I'm actually really surprised at how good it looks. It's not over drying. So yeah, I don't know if that's because I mixed it with another foundation, but I think it turned out really good. Okay, so for the next step, I want to do eyeshadow and I got this really cute, like there's like three different colors in here and it looks really good quality. So I'm going to see how this works. But how do I get this out? It's like a yellowish color, like a maroon color, and like a brown color. So now you guys can see my eyes up close and personal. This is really pigmented. Okay, so I want to try out all the colors. So I'm just going to go for this like purple one. I don't really use colors like that, but I kind of just want to test it out. So we'll just see how it goes. Time to blend it out. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this eye first before I do like this one so you guys can like see the difference. I'm gonna take like this yellowy glitter color and try to put that like right here. Okay, time to open the highlighter. This looks really cute. I'm gonna try to use the white one. My eyebrows are kind of a mess. I'm gonna get my eyebrow brush and try to fix that issue first. I'm just gonna take this whitish color and try to put that on the inner corner. Okay, so moving on with the eyes, the next step I'm gonna do is curl my eyelashes. And I forgot to show you, I got this from the dollar store. It's an eyelash curler and it's like really cute. And I don't know what this holographic, is that what the design is? And then I'm gonna do that and then use this mascara and we're gonna see how well it works. is so this is kind of small but like what do you expect from the dollar store it's literally a dollar oh it's not like the best brush it doesn't have like a whole bunch of like little things but we'll just see why is it like that okay the mascara might not be the best thing to get from the dollar store but i'm trying to make this work honestly not the worst you just have to use a lot Okay, so now we're moving on to the bronzer slash contour, and this is what it looks like. It's by LA Colors. It's like this shimmery brown color. Okay, so it definitely has some color. It makes me look kind of orange. Ooh, 
I actually like this. It makes me look tan. The only complaint I have about this bronzer is it's more of like a warm tone color and it's like not really cool toned. So you look more orange than you look contoured. But if you're going for like the tan summer glow, I feel like this works perfectly. Same with the foundation. It's kind of like orange toned. But then again, it's this bronzer. It's not really a contour palette. So it's fine. This wasn't even bad. This was pretty good. So I also got a little blush and this is really cute too. It kind of looks like the highlighter one though. Yeah, these are basically the same. This is the highlighter one. This one just has like a little bit more pink. And I don't know if you're supposed to like mix the whole thing together or like use it separately. Oh, I think you're supposed to mix it. Kind of got a lot. I don't know if I can even tell. Maybe I just tapped the whole thing off. <laughs> Let me try this again. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> actually going to be keeping all of these and like using them in my makeup routine because they're pretty good okay so this is the last one i'm actually really excited about this because it comes with the lipstick and a lip gloss so yeah this is by ellie colors and it looks like this the color is clarity in case you guys want to get the same color this is cute except for this kind of slides on and off so i don't know that's actually kind of not good it's fine so this is what the color looks like. My hands are like so wrinkly, so let me not do it against my hands. Okay, I hope I don't use a lot because it's kind of dramatic. To the last part of this whole thing, and that's just putting this lip gloss on and it's at the bottom. Ooh, it tastes like bubble gum. I don't know if I like this color for like an everyday look, but like for fancier things, I would definitely wear this. Okay, so I actually really like the way this turned out. It was pretty good. And the only things I didn't like was the mascara and the foundation. So overall, I get this like a 7 out of 10. I think it was really cute. And that was really fun. And if you're bored, just try out dollar store makeup. You won't be spending a lot of money. And you might find stuff that you like. And then you'll be saving money because you don't have to buy expensive makeup. So yeah, I really like this. If you guys like this video, make sure to give me a huge thumbs up. And... Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video.